The two are elected as chairman and deputy of the powerful 27-man committee that will steer the review process. It is a tough job bestowed on two legislators who share certain characteristics. Both Abdikadir Hussein Mohammed and Ababu Namwamba are lawyers, young, and are serving their first term in parliament. The two will be inheriting this job from political heavyweights, all of whom did not succeed in giving Kenya the much-desired constitutional reforms. Looking at the exact steps to be done, if we can have the, the institutions up and running by the end of February, I think that will be a, a good start. The Harvard-educated lawyer has a lot on his plate. Both he and Ababu Namwamba will not be breaking for Christmas, but instead will be working out a strategy for the select committee. The clock of the review process officially starts to tick on Christmas Day when the constitutional review roadmap comes into force. Within 14 days we must do the adverts. We are doing the adverts on the 29th. 21 days thereafter we must have the applications in. We must uh, uh, uphold that. Then seven days later we must have this work done in terms of getting the experts. So that by the, the, the end of January we are through with that function. The first job of the select committee is to advertise the jobs for the panel of experts who will be in charge of the review process itself. This will be done before the year ends and selection of the same will be on the 14th of January next year. It is the same select committee that will also pick members of the Interim Independent Electoral Commission once that law is given assent by the President. We are expecting to set adverts also for reputable HR firms to help in the setting up of, of those, those institutions, especially the HR function, the Committee of Experts, the, EC, uh, the new interim ECK, the new interim uh, uh, Boundaries Commission. Abdikadil, who ousted former Kanu treasurer and ODM leader Bilal Kero, is a man of many hearts. Besides the select committee, he also chairs the Parliamentary Departmental Committee on the Administration of Justice and Legal Affairs, the group that scrutinizes pieces of legislation and also carries out its investigative role. One of the questions now being asked is whether the Abdikadir Select Committee will succeed where heavyweights such as Nyachae, William Ruto and Prime Minister Raila Odinga failed in the run-up to the 2005 referendum. That freshness in itself is a, is a great advantage for the constitutional review process and therefore uh, we hope therefore the two gentlemen and, and the, uh, the rest of the committee uh, will use that advantage of, of freshness uh, to be able to, uh, to, get, um, to get us somewhere in the constitutional review process. It is hoped that Kenyans will have a new constitution by the end of next year, although some leaders have said it is possible to have a constitution by June next year if all goes well. I don't think that is realistic, uh, uh, because, not because it cannot be done legally, uh, but because of the political environment. Right now, my own suspicion is that we are going to see a lot of acrimony uh, early next year, uh, which uh, mainly will emanate from the, the, the aftershocks of the potential implementation of the Krigler and the work reports. Kenyans can only hope that this time round there will be no hurdles in the realization of a new constitution.